Hey, what's going on guys? It's Josh, day two of the YouTube for a year challenge. And today we're going to be talking about the trailer that just got released from Infinity Ward, uh, showing off the campaign, well, parts of the campaign of their new game coming out, Infin Infinite Warfare. Um, and I'm just going to dive right into it. The first impressions of the game, or first impressions of the trailer, it looks a lot like Advanced Warfare. I kind of, I tweeted about it, um, and I said the yellow letters that that's a good sign for a jetpacker like me because as you guys as some of you may know i was actually pretty good at advanced warfare uh and ghosts that's why i was kind of like before this game got announced i was really hoping it was going to be ghost 2 because ghosts it was a game i was really good at as, as well as advanced warfare but uh when i saw the yellow uh, letters i was like all right you know the last game that had yellow letters i was dominant at so i was looking forward to it this game looks a lot like advanced warfare the colors everything like that uh, the graphics look more like Ghost, but a little more high res than Ghost was. So um, the artwork, like I said, AW, the graphics and the way like the the shines are and stuff like that's more like Ghost in my opinion. Um, and then the story mode is like more like Halo ish than anything that I can think of. It doesn't even like seem like a COD story mode. And honestly, since Modern Warfare Three, I haven't even played the story modes in COD because they're really far fetched at this point. Like, they're not they're not realistic. They're not really believable. Not to say the Modern Warfare series was the most believable series ever, but you know, like it was like at least in our time period for the most part. So it was easy to follow and it was easy to imagine. Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 seemed like a too cartoony and too fake for me. Um, Black Ops 3, I, like I'm not playing a story mode with jetpacks. I'm sorry. Like I, I just don't really care about story mode. I know there's a lot of people out there who just buy the game for story mode. So <clears throat> hopefully you like spaceships, man. Um, as far as gameplay goes i'm really hoping it plays more like ghosts i'm really hoping it's boots on the ground i know there was a part in the trailer way back where you can see the people with actual jetpacks jetpacking up a little cliff so maybe they're like thruster packs maybe it's like a w maybe it's like a mix of the two maybe it's something completely new who knows but i did see jetpacks in here hopefully that's just in campaign but we don't know and then also um another thing is i saw that the mtar was in the trailer I saw that on Charlie Intel, and I noticed it just now when we were watching the trailer, and I'm very excited for that. MTAR was one of my favorite guns in Ghost, next to the Vector, and uh, I just like I like having dominant submachine guns, so I'm extremely excited for that. And then the last part of this trailer, right after this, it's going to say Call of Duty or whatever. It's going to tell you the date, which we pretty much already knew what the date was. It's going to show you the little sneak peek of Modern Warfare. The game looks so much better than the original Modern Warfare. I'm hoping they don't fuck with too much. I'm hoping they really don't change anything. Maybe they could change a few things, a few problems that we had with the game before. But honestly, the game was great before, so they can just leave it how it is. I hope the game plays as well as it did before, but I'm extremely excited for that. Um, I'm probably going to be getting the Legacy Edition. I don't even care if I have to pay the extra money. I just really want COD 4 again. And uh, regardless if this game sucks and the next game sucks, I'll have something to play that's boots on the ground and something that uh, I won't get pissed at and have to buy the disc twice because I snap it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, daily videos until May 1st next year. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, peace out.